it goes, guys. This is the hero class. It's a perfect symmetry somatic conversion taken from half of a model. So you come in under here. I've got a concealed airlock. Come in. And this is the hangar. I haven't finished the con tower. It's still work in progress. I haven't done the uh, whole of the hangar deck. Going to make the door bigger. This AMC system in the uh, wall, that's basically your uh, slave for all of the different arrays. As you can see here, we've got the different missile systems hooked up to the different missile systems. We've also got the different weapons computers, all of them hooked up with their slaves and their colours. Just in case you're interested, C on the master, V on the slave, V on the light and then be on the effect computer, but I haven't got to the effects for this one yet. With no effects in use yet. So I'm just gonna give you a bit of a tour. Um, one of the things we completed on the stream last night was actually the uh, first functioning rooms, which was the missile control. So I come through here. We've got some of the power tank system. And if we look left, Got some computer screens, and then we've got missile control, which is inspectable. With little Jeffrey's tubes. It's a bit like a server rack of missile launchers, and we've got like a full run of the ship right the way down to the exit points. Not on the outer section, but definitely. And then we've got the exit points on the outside. And I've used the uh, metal mesh for the missile launcher output. And, and then for the AMC down here, we've used the grill. And that gives us a nice, you can actually see, you can see the cannon in there. Kind of looks, kind of looks funky. We've got the glow coming through as well. These turrets have white lasers. Yep. And here we've got a sort of uh, igniter or something for this main cannon. Coming through the door, we're in missile control. And it's the same on both sides. So there we go. So this is how you defeat the great hero class. Like I say, uh, the shields are pretty much, there's a million shields and they're just in the available empty space. If I come back down to the end, we've got here is functioning engines. So, to boost the XYZ, I've made it this long and made a kind of engine housing of sorts using some glow effect. Hey, what's up guys? Just, just doing a little it's walk around. Uh, hey, Wait, how the hell did I pull this off? I'm just doing a little walk around, a uh, little work. Walk around on the hero, all the updated stages. Now I'm just going to oh, okay. say I've got this engine conduit here, um, and then there's engine housing. So, like I say, it's all one big system, they're all connected. So, that gives you your dims. And most of them are wasted blocks, but they're there for looks as much as anything else. Are you guys all on the dimble? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. As you can see, uh, as Saber pointed out earlier today, the shadow thing is not there. No problems with the shadow anymore, it's actually rendering fine. Shadow of the Colossus, yes. So, uh, there's no problem with those. And then, last but not least, is the uh, forward section, which is where the wave cannon is. So if I just zoom up the front, past the part of the semi-completed area, go through. And this is basically beam control. We've got a bit of a pancake going on with split out arrays so that we can get a lot of blocks in without without them touching. There are several arrays in there. And as you can see, this is like my dish for where the lasers come out, the actual outputs. Um, 
and then just up here we've got this. This is actually a gravity shoe, and I'm going to demo that in just a sec. If you're watching it earlier, you'll have seen me use it already, but it uses a bit of logic just to basically throw anyone out of the front of the ship. So I'm going to jump out. Oh, well, obviously, we've got the output for the beam laser here. So if I just have the turrets by zero cents, I'm trying to kill Lich. I think I might add that um, enemy in now. Even though he can take it. Actually, I have survived pretty much the whole onslaught. You have. See, he got cheeky again. You gotta, you gotta put him back. Put him back on now. Oh, no! <laughs> so, you Delmok? <laughs> if I now move that like this, and... Have. The <laughs> okay. beam, the single I'm beam. No, I'm not safe again. What am I talking about? Uh, top G. There we go. So we have the single beam. We have the uh, slightly wider beam. And then we have the widest beam. I tried to make it kind of fit. Even though it doesn't have any fit. But uh, hey. The idea is the both of these. And then we get our wave beam. a planet or another ship and just walk through here and off I go um what have I walked out on <laughs> is it Lich getting attacked by a beam laser pirate or is that someone that's Saber it's Saber <laughs> I commandeered this vessel <laughs> <laughs> Dude, actually, it was uh, when my when the ice planet that I was on, that chunk of that ice planet I was flying around, mm. one of them like swept low, so I jumped in, <laughs> took it over from my side. Actually, you didn't take out any of my shield. I'm still at 100%. Well, yeah, these things are super weak, man. My toy. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, they survived. They survived the rainbow onslaught. Mind you, I don't want to destroy this down one thing working on that ship here. What is this that he's working on? I don't know, it looks no like idea. a... Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was it about not messing with anybody there, Tom? He'll be alright. Oh, look at They're all awesome. coming towards me. No. Yeah, because you're being cheeky again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is with you people? I'm not constant. <laughs> but you do fit Probably. the role quite not quite well. Yeah. yeah. A strategic whipping boy? In the nicest possible way. Watch it, Saber. 